Alright guys, this is Gamer9575 here and I'm going to be showing some tr sick trading methods, easy way to make coins and I actually have already finished this video but I didn't have my sound on so my mic was muted so yeah, I have to do it all over again so yeah, let's get straight into it and the first method, uh, I cleared it all but I had loads of anchors sold so they go for about 1.7k so consumables are really good to trade with now literally everything position modifiers chemistry shells anchor is not like a very common one most people go for shadow or hunter but anchor is also pretty underrated to trade with so anchors about see look at all these if you pick even any of these up these are more probably expired but that's how like easily they're coming up see just i don't know why it's none of it's refreshed but all of these are snipes, they actually go for about 1.6k so you should probably sell it on for if you're patient you could sell it, nah, probably 1.6 is good uh, so if you snipe for like 1.4 you're making a good profit so yeah straight away 1.3 at this time I'm pretty sure maybe lightning rounds are out, I don't know see just they're coming up so quickly I'm just horrible at sniping uh, let's try get one nope see every refresh we're getting one there 1.4 we list that for 1.6 it's only about that's actually not a great profit it's only about 120 coins but that took about one minute uh, let's try get one for like 1.2 And obviously with this, you can just mass bid on them. Like the ones, I, I didn't snipe any of them. I mass bidded on most of them. So if we just put it in as, you could probably get 850. See, look at these 45 seconds. You will get outbidded on these cards, the cards definitely. Oh, 1.4K. But if you do get them, you could get them for about 1k if you do it at the right time and then you'll be making a good profit. A good time to do it would be like in the morning. In the morning of uh, in England time because the, the market's pretty down at that time. So yes, uh, the next method would be players again, players still. Um, and we're gonna go for Spanish and then we're, you can choose which league so if you go Premier League uh, put it in gold so Spanish Premier League players I, they're very cheap so that's not a really good one to go for but you can f fiddle around with the positions like defenders a bit more expensive I'm pretty sure the cheapest ones like Kiko Firmino yeah so he's about 700 ever about 700 so uh, if you get it for 600 ish 550 you'll be making profit alright we didn't manage to snipe one but I think we could probably get a few from bid so bid on them just in case we get them uh, and then we'll move on to the next trading method uh, well, it is the same trading method ideally, so we just do the same one but try another league. So, a good one's the Liga Nos. If I can find it, yeah, there we go. Liga Nos, I think defenders, there's Marcano, I'm pretty sure. So, the players are Marcano and Grimaldo. So, you could get a Grimaldo if you're lucky, but you probably won't. I'm pretty sure Marcano goes for about 1k. Alright, we need to put it on gold. I, he's dropped pretty hard. He was about 1.8k yesterday <coughs> when I like ideally recorded this first time. So he's 800. So if you could get it one card for like 600, you'd be making profit. But these are like 10 minutes, so it would be taking quite a bit of time. Uh, in a few days, I will be releasing a video on an easy way to get packs, like the three easy ways to get packs, and they're really useful because you can make easy coins if you pack someone decent so yeah 
now we'll move on to the next method which is probably the one you should do and it's kind of an investment I say so players like if I just open up foot pin let me just check the cheapest 83s you can get so you go to foot pin you can check these as well you just search up foot bin and then you just go to cheapest players by rating to search up players by rating and then you'll get to the I'll put the link in the description and then you can check it out so the cheapest 83 right now is Justine so you want the guys from a decent league so let's go for Justine yeah we'll just go for Justine actually I'll go for Radaki I'm not gonna pronounce that name uh, because I've already got tons of Justine, so he's about 900 coins. See, 80 freeze have just hit rock bottom. They're pretty much min list. 850. Look at that. 800 even. 750 there. You could probably I'll pick that up and put it on the transfer list because you're only going to bid for 700 really. So this guy's so cheap you might as well just that's the one I got you might as well just buy now and do buy now but if you go to like 700 obviously that's min list I'm pretty sure yeah 700 min list so see look 30 seconds no one bidding on him so I could actually get quite a few of these I could probably win most of them and then so if an SBC comes out, he'll go to 1.3-ish K. So that's about, okay, my transfer list is full. So that's about, if he goes to 1.3, that's 600 coins profit. With tax, it's about 500, more than 500. So that means, like, with 500 coins profit, if you get 100 cards, that's 50K right there. So, yeah, see, you can see I've invested in quite a few players. Uh... See, I've listed up loads of Justines. I need to clear my transfer list. Um, yeah, I have loads of Justines. See, look at all these. I've the best thing to do is already like right now list them for 1.3. So then lazy buyers like might buy them. Uh, see, we've already won one. Let's go. We'll do special trading now. Um, I've been doing that for quite a long time. So you just put. It doesn't actually have to be special so there's two ways of doing this you put min 10 to 50 it's called the one two three method so you go 10 10k 20k and then 30k and then you could just go normal players any players so basically you just find a player who looks decent for a decent price like this guy short biscuits he's surely worth more than 10k so you search him up The problem is you don't have any time and I don't want to risk a bid so I ain't going for it. So Biscuits, he's actually going for 11k so that's, it is a profit of like 500 coins but not too much. Informer, let's see, uh, Koke, let's go for Koke. Koke right now, his inform is... Okay, is 26k so that is a really good one see if that guy got that that he would have been making so much profit so if he's 26k this is we're probably gonna have a bid war so the tax on that is about 1300 coins so if you could get it about 24k 23k I'm making profit hopefully this guy if we get it for less that's amazing profit Watch this guy bid at the last second. Yeah, knew it. <sighs> you can never make an amazing profit with these. It's always there's always one person just bidding you with you. Uh I'll try get this card. Hopefully watch him bid again. Yep. You know why is it not why is the time not gone back up? 
Okay, I'll bid in the last 10 seconds. Bidding wars is actually quite stressful because you really want to make coins. But it is quicker to make coins by doing this than like playing matches. But when you do play matches, you do get rewards. So yeah. Before this, you guys hopefully have seen my foot champs rewards. If you haven't, go check it out. We got. I'm not gonna spoil it, but it's okay. I'll give you that. So we said we'll go up to 24. Don't like bid, always bid by like 250 coins extra. Never go to like the, your limit. So then you can do it quick. Always you have to always be patient with these bidding wars. Alright, this guy really wants this card, doesn't he? Uh, if we get to 24k I'm just gonna let him have it because I ain't gonna make much profit anyway. This guy ain't stopping. Oh guys I might be doing a player review as well probably after my other trading video. So yeah. Yep, last bid. We're gonna g wait till the last second. Are we actually gonna get him? Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, we've actually got him. All right. All right, cool. Okay, for twenty-four k, let's actually see how much he's going. If Footbin has lied to me, I won't be happy. Cool. Okay. Oh, we're gonna have to put him in. Alright, good. Uh, let's put Senna mid. Actually, we'll put Cam because mine is Cam. So, Koke with a Cam. It's going for about 27k. These have been all listed at about the same time. So, let's go to Senna mid. Is he cheaper? How much is he? Oh no. It's not really. Alright, okay, so Footbin didn't lie to me. Footbin was bang on. Alright, so we'll list it for 26,250. Not really that much of a profit, but it is a profit no matter what. So we'll send all. Please don't be full transfer list. Alright, we'll. S Oops. Let's take him and listen for twenty six five hundred two fifty. That was what I was going for. I right, ease on. So I hope I hope you enjoyed these trading methods. Uh, like obviously. Why wouldn't you? Uh, subscribe and yes, I'll put uh. I will put the link to the footbin players by rating thing in the description. So yeah, hope you enjoyed.